Now, in the 14th century, the Turco-Mongol warrior Amir Temur Lang actually recalled a time that he was in Iran, and he witnessed a courier in the district of Firuz Ku returning from his trip with two wooden panels on his feet, essentially allowing him to glide over the snow and not to sink in. Some linguists even believe that the word ski has Aryan roots. Now, for many of you at home, particularly after seeing what Mazak showed us just earlier, you may not believe that the word ski and Iran belong in one sentence. Let's go join our own Amir Pasha, Tabrizian, as he takes us over to the International Ski Resort of Dizin. Established in 1969 and going strong since. Let's go join him. For many young Iranians, entering these gates means the start of a day full of fun and excitement. The Dizin skiing resort that is situated in the Alborz Mountains is the most popular hangout for many teenagers that look for a fun getaway with their friends over weekends. For them, Dizin is more than just a skiing resort. It is a place to hang out with friends, have fun and to get to know other people. It's a really nice ski resort. You could socialize, have fun, meet with loads of people, chill with friends. It's just amazing. And look at the weather, it's just awesome. In Iran, skiing is a very popular activity. And for any skier, Dizin is the number one choice. It has a reputation for excellent snow throughout the world, being the biggest and most important skiing resort in the Middle East. The highest ski lift reaches 3,600 meters, putting the resort on the list of the 40 highest skiing resorts of the world. Today, with a maximum of 20 minutes wait in the line, you can get to the top of the mountain. And as you can see, despite the turnout, all of our lifts are up and successfully running. Dizin ski amenities include two hotels, 19 cottages, and five restaurants. So a two-hour ride from Tehran takes you to this magnificent resort that happens to be a hotspot for Iranian teens. Dizin is also recognized by the International Skiing Federation for its capacity to hold international tournaments. Therefore, many competitions take place during each season. To explore the features of Dizin in person, my friends and I decided to pack our gear and check it out. So there's two ways to come to Dizin from Tehran. One is from the east of Tehran where you come all the way. Tehran is that way, so you have to come all the way from the east and you end up on that road in the mountain. It's a very mountainous road, so there's a lot of avalanche happening uh, during the winter season. But there's the west road, which is always open, most of the time. You come all the way from Karaj, that way, and then you end up at the bottom of the mountain, right here, the Dizin Mountain. We're gonna go down, we're gonna have lunch, and then we're gonna go talk, talk around with some people. Weekends are always the busiest time for skiing in Dizin. For many people and tourists come from all surrounding cities to ski. As we anticipated, this weekend was no exception. The lines were packed with people laughing with their friends, hoping to at least ski eight or nine times before the end of the day. And so on this beautiful sunny day, we, just like other people, hit the slopes.
We also met a couple of people and skied with them and enjoyed the fantastic powder. Dude, I'm hungry. The restaurant that is located right in the middle of Dizin is where everyone meets up. To shake off the exhaustion, boys and girls sit in groups and chat, sometimes get a burger or a coffee, and simply spend their time. Oh, we, we just arrived today here in, uh, in Dizin and it's, it's great. We live in Oman, it's very hot. And now we're skiing, that's really nice. We really enjoy it. Beautiful skiing here, beautiful snow. Really love it here. Thank you. Thank you, Dizin. The Iranian youth feel a special kind of affection towards Dizin. Many of them have skied in international ski resorts in Switzerland, Canada and other countries. But everyone here agrees that Dizin is just something else. Pasha Tabrizian reporting for Iran.